sitting at home. By the way, I have a shrine that's right by where we have to go next for this dungeon, so very convenient that I okay. played so, some of this in the meantime off so, the show. So, back to what I was saying, though, like, not, not that, not, like, I would love to see the games, all the second games, like, brought back, like, we're, we're going to talk about some of them right now, but I would love them to have Street this... Street of Rage. Huh? Street of Rage. That game, I would love to bring back. I would love to have back, but what I'm saying is, though, you can you can go the you can go the art style of what Street Fighter did. Like you could go and and have a a 2.5D game, which is which when Street Fighter 4 was and Street Fighter 5 technically is now, where you have modern 3D graphics put on on, on a 2D plane. So it kind of work it kind of works out. You could have that. And I would love that, but I still think that games that that there's something about 16-bit graphics that you cannot do it. You cannot. What do you call it? And I'm not talking about like, like um, like what Nintendo did with like Castlevania or Sonic did, where you got certain like graphical things where you can like have the screen scrolling or you could have like parallax I effects where the, where the screen rotates I'm around with a super FX chip you or you can have stuff like that. I mean, like the art style, like actual 16-bit <sighs> graphics but updated to modern consoles. I would so love that because there's something about that, like the pixel perfect density is amazing. And now since Brandon moving over there, yeah, sorry if I um. Yeah, I need to see the screen better. Yeah, so if I, so if I, if you hear things from the microphone, sorry about that for one second. I'm gonna move the microphone over so we can, we can both hear us. And now Brandon's gonna be on the left side while I'm on the right side now. Yeah? All right, so I needed another bow. But like I said, Sega wants to bring all the game back, and I would love to see them in, in the 16-bit art style, but. They they could do go the route with like, with like Activision right now, and they could release like the, a full 3D version of like Crash Bandicoot, which which is pretty awesome. I like it too. But it's just it it all depends on what you what you like and what you don't like. But and it will only and like these different graphic things work for different games and whatnot. Like if you're talking about Sonic, I all, I honestly only think that Sonic can only be done the right way, like Sonic Mania did with the, with the old style graphics. Yeah, I don't think you can go back and say, "Well, we can make Sonic Mania like Sonic the Hedgehog 4," and no, because that game sucked in comparison to every other Sonic game besides Sonic 06 and Sonic Boom, because they tried to capture the, the they tried to capture the the nostalgic style of Sonic, and it didn't work out in their favor. Which one are you talking about, Sonic 4? Sonic 4, Episode 1 and 2, because the, the physics were all off. It wasn't the same physics that and and the controls that. That Sonic had in, in Genesis games, it was just, it was just bad. But some things that are different could be good in their own way, but that was not. I mean, it wasn't bad. Oh, you know what I, you know what I did? But it wasn't great. You know what I did for this? What? I literally just sprawled like you did like that, and just kept shooting different ones besides stopping without stopping. That's what you're supposed to do. No, I mean I didn't stop and go around. I literally just stood right there and kept shooting. How the hell were you shooting the same target though? I'm not shooting the same target. I'm saying I shot that, and then I shot another one with this, and, 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 while you're in slow motion. Oh, I, I see what you mean. Yeah, I didn't, like, I didn't need to stop, though. They make it seem like this is going to be a challenge. This part is not challenging. It is so easy. I know. But... I'm like, when I first did that, I'm like, damn, I'm sure lucky I beat that in one try. Um, <laughs> so... Sarcastic. Since Sega is bringing all the game back... What are what are some of the games that you would like to be be, be, be be coming back? I already said this, but I didn't beat the game. But I remember watching my brother playing it, and it's so scary. It's very underrated too. That's in more reason. I want there to be a third condemned game. Like, and I like my horror games. Those are really those Sega. Are Sega make condemn. Yeah, apparently. I did not know that. I didn't even. I, didn't I never played the condemned games. I was. I don't remember, and I didn't play too much of them. I only watched Roller play them, so I didn't know they made those games either. But apparently they did. I want there to be a third Condemned game. I want there to be either a remake or a sequel to Altered, Altered Beast. And make it less of a dickish game to play, because that game... I'm not talking pun intended. That game was so hard. You know what? You, you know what I, I I I liked back in the day though. I don't mind a challenge, but that and game I, was way hope, too hard. You know what I liked about back in the day though, and I hope Sega Sega does this. What? They could go the route like Super Mario Brothers three, where in Japan they kept the difficulty the same way and they made it easier for us in America. Yeah. Even though that game is still pretty challenging. 
Super Mario Brothers 3 was harder in Japan? Yeah, they, they had to tone it down in the difficulty in America. Because they thought, because they think that Japan, they, they thought back in the day that Japan was always the hardcore, hard, hardcore gamers, and that we, we were, we were the hardcore gamers also in America, but we, they, they didn't think that, like, that we were able to handle the difficulty. So they, well, that's why they did what they did with Super Mario Brothers 2. Yeah. But actually, that's different, though, because they, they just released, they, they only did they put a skin on it. That's what they did. No, I'm talking about as far as making us have a different Mario 2 than what they had. Yeah, I know. But we we, we got a back for it, and when the, when the SNES came out with Super Mario All Stars, and we got yeah. Super Mario Brothers all lost levels. But so you said you want Condemned, and you want also Altered Beast. I want also a Streets of Rage Four. God, there's so many games I can list off right now. It's you know, hard to did even... you ever play um? You ever play the Saints Row games? I never cared for them. I was more of a GTA fan. It's like, oh, Call of Duty or Battlefield. Battlefield. Um, GTA or Saints Row. I was always a GTA fan. Well, Saints more. Row is um, really... Saints Row, compared to GTA, is a really weird game. It's supposed to be, like, less realistic than GTA was. No, I mean, it's a weird game. It's like, you go, like... Oh, I know. Like, you go into a computer and you start to fighting, like, toilets and shit. In one of the games, I've seen it. And then That's there's, like, weird. a level... There's, like, a part in the game where you're in the computer and you actually get, like... Like, like, while you're fighting toilets, you're not get transported into a Streets of Rage parody game. Which huh. is Streets of Rage, though. It's... It is, or they call it that, or... No, they call it, like, they call it, like, Saints Row something, or whatever. But it's, like, but it plays just like Streets of Rage, though. Hmm. So... By the way, we're already about to enter the dungeon after this. Alright, so I wanna, like, see if we can beat the dungeon, and then... We'll go out for food, and we'll come back. We'll do you put... remember what to do for the dungeon? I do, exactly. No, Okay. Then I'll let you do it, because I don't remember exactly everything. Because when I first played through this game on my own, this was the first I need, dungeon I need to, I, like, I, need, I might just, like, like forget a couple of things, because I haven't played it in so long. But I will, once, once I start playing it, I'll remember it. Because this is a dungeon where the first dungeon I did, so I don't remember exactly everything to do for it. Um, some of the games that I want to be re-released and see if they, they can make it better is I want, of course, if... If they if they if they if they feel it's like it, you. and I know this is gonna be the stupidest answer ever because uh, they're, they're gonna go this route. Don't trust me. They're gonna go through this route. What? But if if Sega, if Sonic Mania does as well as it's, as it's going to be, I want to see any, another Sonic Mania two or something along those lines. That's thinking really far ahead, though. I know, way too far. But I would want that. But um, I also would like if. Sega would make another Ristar, like everyone's ever said. They, they, they want Ristar back. Please make that a thing. If, if no right, other so game comes out, if no other game comes out, please make Ristar. That's one down. Um, I, we people have said that they want. I want Kid Chameleon to come back. I definitely want the game to come back. I've never really played. And that, that game is way too fucking long for me to beat. That game is so hard. I've never really uh, played it. I, I know all the secrets and shit, but like, it's way too hard. Um. I want, I want to see them do something with the with with, 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 with Flicky. That game was fun, but I'm it was like, underrated, way underrated. It it was. Cause you, you know that game was based was just a spin off of Sonic the Hedgehog, right? Well, yeah, the Flickies are creatures you get when you kill robots. Yeah. Um. Two. People were saying that they they should bring back. Um. I never I never played this series, but people said that it's a really good game. Um. Crazy Taxi. I never played that either, but it makes me think of that killer taxi in Earthbound. Or the killer taxi from... From, um... What the fuck was it? God, I, I know... Fucking regular show. Oh, Hello, yeah. Domina. <laughs> oh, yeah, when he had the nightmares that taxis were trying... Rigby had nightmares that taxis were trying to kill him. Hello, Domina. He was afraid of cab drivers. <laughs> I miss that show so damn much. So do I. The, um, the finale was really sad. Also, people have said said that they wanted to come back, and there's also been an Easter egg from it. Also, and and he played Project M, like the original, like like from the Project M team. The actual. I was about to say that. If you play Sonic, if you get a, a, an alternate costume from the series Jet Set Radio, and Go. people, people said they want to know Jet Set Radio to come back, but. I can, it'll, it'll, I can it'll, see it'll people depend. wanting that back. Hmm? I can see people wanting that back. I never play Jet Set Radio, but I can definitely see people wanting that back. The weird thing though that 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 after like, all right, the shields are down. And people and some people want this to be a thing though, but there's a, there's a lot of articles out there that's saying, please don't do it. 
because it will not make any sense anymore. People want a Dreamcast too, but but, but articles and even Kotaku was talking about this for, for for a brief moment about okay, think about it. Think about this right now. You have a, you you have the Switch, right? You have the Switch. You have a, you have the Xbox and you have a PS4. Xbox One and PS4. Now the Switch itself is the only game-changing, defining game that you can go out and play because it's not like it's not like a home console. It's like you can go out and play it portably, and you can bring it back and play it on your on your on your on your, on your TV, right? Yeah. Now, what are the big differential? What are the what are, what are the big and I mean the actual big differential besides between each console? Besides, say, besides Nintendo saying you can go portable and you can't, and Xbox and PS4 having just a, just um, exclusives. What are the big differential between each one? Besides those, I guess it's the way the system runs. Well, yes, but because basically the PS4 and Xbox One are just big computers. They're very very similar in terms of graphics and hardware and whatnot. Like those, they're basically. Those are basically computers. like you can get like you can get any any bad. you can get like any smart device any 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 smart device out there now and you can be like well you can play games you can watch YouTube you can watch Netflix you can watch all these different apps and video apps you can do a lot of things with them that and you can sometimes you can Skype on them if you have Xbox you can do this you can do that video chatting and so on. Wait, you can get Skype on an Xbox? Xbox One. Oh. But they used That's to have asking. they used to have they used to have a thing with it where you can take Skype. And and you can you can split screen it with your games. You can you can play games before. and Skype with people at the same time. But then they took that feature out because it wasn't good enough for the system at the time. But I'm not going to get into that now. Like what would, what would Sega have to do? Because Sega can't do anything else. Because every console is, has everything. And Sega already Sega already failed in the console market because. And I read an article about this too that. They, the reason why they failed is because they went too far ahead and were way too advanced for the competition where the, where the technology wasn't there yet. And they predicted, they literally predicted what every other console after it was ever going to do. And you want to know why? Why? Because Sega was the first console to be released to have online gameplay. And now guess where online game is now? Those are on all other systems. On every system, and it's the, and it's on PC, and it's the biggest thing. Like no one's gonna buy a game and not have online now. That is like, true. Like that's when that's like when when the PS3 was when the PS3 went to this whole big hack back in 2011, and like they like people literally hacked the system so bad that you couldn't play online. I haven't played my system in over six months because of that. Oh, I didn't realize this. Look, my Master Sword is 60, and it's back. Powers are stored. Nice. But, like, Sega predicted online game is going to be a big thing. They also predicted with, um... I'm just getting the map, uh, so if you want to maneuver through the dungeon... I'll keep going, because I want to talk about this for a little bit. Alright, but, fine. Um, they also predicted in motion gaming. Like motion controls? Motion controls. Because they had, they had a device where it was sort of, somewhat sort of like the Kinect. Where you, where you, where you buy, like, a little camera. And it used to be, um... Like, it was only in, in, in Japan. And any game that that supported that got that that feature taken out in America because they didn't release it that that device in America. So basically, you had like most controls you could do with your hands or with with little tiny controllers You'll stuff like that at the time. Terminals. But it wasn't like the, it wasn't the greatest thing. And they already predicted most controls would be a thing. And then s N Nintendo brought that up. They already did most controls. They already had what do you call it? Um, the Kinect tried it out, so they already knew about it. Like they already pre they already predicted almost everything that every other console was gonna do. Connect ended up sucking major shit though. Yeah, I mean the only thing that you know what was weird though. That I was excited for that thing. No, what, what was weird though is that the Connect came out and it did worse than the PlayStation I, which was the PlayStation Two camera at the time. It did worse than that. How is that even possible? And the PlayStation camera only had like three games that were released for it because they couldn't get the technology up enough to make the games as good as they wanted them to be. I don't kill it though. And the only reason why that it failed because of that because it, it wasn't bundled with the system. You had to buy it separately. And the fact that what what the connect the connect and the and Sony the PlayStation Two just behind or no just above the the Nintendo DS was the was the, was the greatest selling console ever created. 
And like if you like if you look at the numbers, it sold the most out of every other console. Which console? The PS2. Yeah, the PS2. Uh, that usually is referred to as one of the best consoles. Well, it, it it's actually been proven though, and it's in the Guinness Book of World Record that it's that it's the highest selling console ever created. Highest selling, I'll give you that. And the second one below that with the DS, the original DS. I'll give you highest selling, but you can't necessarily prove that a one console is better. No, I'm not saying best. it's better. It's but most... I was gonna say like that's different. I know, but you can opinionate that it, that it, that most likely it had to be the best system because it sold that many. Like nothing like that can compare to it. Yeah. And I'm not saying that. Yes, the PS4 and the PS3 were better in certain ways and did better things, but in in terms of like games and amount of games and and amount of cons that sold, it sold the best. But um, like I said, the Dreamcast like predicted all this shit, and it had like it had the, even the microphone that you had to buy for fucking the, the shit, the microphone purple for that game semen. <laughs> okay, and let's be adults here. <laughs> see, okay. You could, you could be like Family Guy and be like, I'm a computer schmidt. I heard you got a boat race today. You need any, any semen on your poop deck? You know. You know I mean? You, you need any any any, any any muscle for your for your, for your, for your boat? It's like, are you, you young strapping men? Is like, you it, need some young strapping men? It's like, are you calling me gay? Like, are you calling me gay? No, no, no. I think you just need, you know, you know some semen on your, on, 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 on your poop deck. Get punched in the face. Oh, shit. No! How do you, like, what does it lead to? Just down. Oh, okay. I didn't. Know you, you respawn. Don't worry. I know. I had to do that though because I had to get over there. That's one of the terminals. But getting back to the whole thing though, like, and of of course, the one thing that made Sega Dreamcast better than any other console, but it was too, too um ambitious for its time. I was gonna say ambitious. Is they had the um the controller with the screen on it. The Wii U gamepad. Technically, technically not, because remember how you got the memory card for the, the Dreamcast? You had to plug it into the controller and it had the screen and everything. Oh yeah, I remember That's that. That's what I'm saying. They, they predicted that was going to be a, th a, 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 a thing. Well, I mean, that was their own system, so it would be fair to uh, predict that being a thing, because it's something they have uh, for Yeah, I, I know that you need to have that, but I'm saying they predicted that that was going to be a bigger thing in the future, where oh, big, that's like touch screens and screen for gaming and whatnot. But think about this now. Since, since they predicted all that already... Got one. Six, they predicted all that already, and and it failed because the technology wasn't there right at the time for it. Remaining. That it was too ambitious for, for, to for it to go out and market and say, we can sell all this because all these features. What can, like, what can the Dreamcast 2 do now that they, that no one else can do? That will make it a better console, or a console worth being in, in, in the console race? Whoa, shit. <laughs> Fuck, man, I don't know. Like, that's what I'm saying. People want the Dreamcast 2 to still be a thing, though, but people are like, what's the point, though? Yeah, you, like, you have, you, like, say if you're a game, a, a, a really hardcore gamer like me and you are. Like, you, you have, like, almost every system. This is like, true. Like, you're like, okay, look, okay, think about it. You already have a system that can play games. You already have a system that can, that can watch movies on it. You have a system that can play music on it. Hopefully this works. Oh, and they also... They also said that 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 um that they, they predicted the um they predicted the um the a console Damn it. a console UI because if you if you if you actually went onto the um what do you call it see this is the part where you need to make it a lot easier I don't know if you can do it without it or not you need to have Stasis Plus that's how I did this to get the switch to hit that thing harder I don't know if it's possible to do it without it no there's a way to I don't know. There's a way to do it. If there is, I don't... Well, first, I'm gonna... But, just like, like I was saying, though, like... If Sega, if Sega does come back... Those bother And they're me. already trying to say that they want to go and... They want to take their old IPs, but they want to bring them back. And, and of course, they're gonna port them to every... To, to, to all the consoles. And they also want to do more PC gaming at the same time. So if you already have all the consoles covered, plus the PC gaming, where are you gonna put them? What are you, what are you gonna have the Dreamcast do? To me, nothing that... I mean, Nintendo was the only co company that ever differentiated itself from every other co company. Because they, they were like, we can do everything you can do, but we can also go portably. You can't do that. That's true. 
And yes, we can't. You can't say that the Switch can do better graphics than than the other consoles, but it's not a miracle system either. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.